Hello Crimson Tide. Alabama football has its eyes on several prospects, but this one is one of the most intriguing in the state for the class of 2026, Marquez Daniel. You can sign up now and keep getting the latest Crimson Tide news. Daniel, a talented wide receiver from Booker T. Washington High School in Tuskegee, Alabama, has caught the attention of several top programs, receiving offers from teams such as Auburn, South Carolina, Tennessee, and others. Will Tennessee be a great rival to land Daniel? Standing at 1.80m tall, Daniel stands out not only for his height but also for his impressive set of skills. His sophomore season showed significant development, cementing his reputation as a rising star on the high school football scene. As a wide receiver, Daniel demonstrates an exceptional ability to create separation from defenders thanks to his speed and agility. Additionally, he is known for his stamina after the catch, often leaving defenders behind with his explosive runs. His visit to the Alabama program will provide an opportunity for coaches and recruiters to get a closer look at his talent and potential. With his ability to excel in multiple facets of the receiving game, Daniel will certainly be a valuable addition to any college team that can land him. As the competition for the four-star recruit continues to heat up, let's keep an eye on Daniel, hold back expectations and hope he picks Bama and not Tennessee. What would you say? Keep going, because there's more news. It is with great excitement that Alabama football receives the news that Caleb Cunningham, one of the most coveted wide receivers in the class of 2025, has completed his official visit to the program. Standing at an impressive 6 foot 4 and 185 pounds, Cunningham possesses all the physical characteristics and technical skills needed to excel on the college football scene. His combination of size, speed and agility makes him a formidable threat on the field, posing a challenge to any opposing defense. As a wide receiver, Cunningham is known for his ability to create separation from defenders thanks to his agility and play intelligence. His ability to get up and compete for the ball in the air makes him a constant threat in deep passing situations and in the red zone. Cunningham's decision to schedule an official visit to Alabama demonstrates the mutual interest between the player and the program. Crimson Tide coaches and recruiters will certainly be eager to welcome Cunningham and show him what the program has to offer in terms of academic and athletic opportunities. With his official visit scheduled, Cunningham will have the chance to experience Alabama's football culture and environment up close, as well as interact with team members and explore the state-of-the-art training facilities. For Alabama fans, the possibility of adding a world-class talent like Caleb Cunningham to the roster is cause for great excitement and anticipation. His official visit represents another step towards building a promising future for the Crimson Tide. And there's more. Now news about Bryce Young, big boy from Alabama. Dave Canales, the new Carolina Panthers' new head coach, is planning to tailor the team's offense around quarterback Bryce Young and the first step in the process is working on developing the fundamentals, starting with Young's feet. During an appearance on NFL Network at the NFL's annual meeting in Orlando, Florida, Canales expressed his intention to identify the concepts Young feels most confident in and adapt the game to his style. This includes watching Young's foot steadiness during pass delivery, whether on a drop shot or a hookup, looking for a solid look and explosive aggression with his back foot. Canales compared Young's development process to what he did with other talented quarterbacks he coached, such as Russell Wilson, Geno Smith, and Baker Mayfield. He emphasized the importance of starting with the fundamentals, including center stance, foot balance, and takedown construction, before customizing footwork to suit specific game concepts. Additionally, Canales highlighted the importance of eliminating excessive pre snap to allow Young to play early and quickly identifying defensive coverages and making quick decisions during the game. This involves building a three-step drop library and being able to quickly advance through reading progressions. Overall, Canales is committed to helping Young reach his full potential as a quarterback by adapting the Panthers' offense to get the best out of his skills and talent. And there's more! Kalen DeBoer, Alabama's new football coach, 
is determined to maintain the Crimson Tide's tradition of excellence even after Nick Saban's retirement. Saban established a tradition of unparalleled success during his 17 years as head coach of the Crimson Tide, winning six national championships and achieving an impressive 206-29 record. His era was marked by dominance in recruitment, on the field and in winning trophies. For DeBoer, the task of maintaining this tradition is monumental, but he has already shown ability during his seasons as head coach of the Washington Huskies. Under his leadership, the Huskies have had success, achieving an 11-2 record in 2022 and winning the Pac-12 title and appearing in the CFP national title game in 2023. While Washington doesn't have the same tradition of success as Alabama, DeBoer's rapid progress suggests he can succeed for the Crimson Tide. He's already working hard in recruiting, with Alabama ranked second overall in the 2024 class and currently ranked seventh for 2025. Despite some roster losses due to the transfer portal following Saban's retirement, Alabama still has a talented team and figures to be a college football championship playoff contender. Challenges against teams like Wisconsin and Georgia in September will be important in determining the potential of DeBoer's team, but he is determined to maintain the standard of excellence for the Crimson Tide. I want to see his opinion, it's important.